high brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 22nd of July 2021 and I received mine this morning on the 23rd. Now this uh, feature update takes us from version 91 to 92 and is packed with a lot of new features and you know over and above the normal security updates that you get with the version rollouts this one has a couple of new features now the first is if we just pop over to our settings and we go to appearance you will see now that there is a new show internet explorer mode button and what we have to do is we have to just click on allow sites to be reloaded in Inter internet explorer mode and what this does is we just need to under allow sites to be reloaded in internet explorer mode we need to go from default to allow restart and this will restart the edge browser and now we have allowed um, sites to be reloaded in internet explorer mode and if we go back to appearance you will see now that we will be able to toggle on toggle on internet explorer mode and in the toolbar in the top right you will see there is a new reload tab in internet explorer mode and what this does is according to the microsoft release notes um, you can reload a site in internet explorer mode on microsoft edge instead of relying on the standalone internet explorer 11 application while waiting for a site to be configured so it just Basically, you don't have to swap between uh, Internet Explorer 11 if you are still using that and Microsoft Edge. Uh, Internet Explorer mode will let you be able to view those sites um, right there in the Microsoft Edge Chromium web browser. And then if we just go back to our new tab, we will see here that you now have an extensions, um, uh, manage extensions. You can do that right from your toolbar before your extensions were placed here in your uh, drop down menu now they have just like google chrome they have now got their own little um, icon and extensions menu where you can now have quick access to all your manage extensions and all your extensions in the microsoft edge web browser and then another one um, basically under the hood is um, your payment instruments are now synced across devices so you have the option now to synchronize your payment information across your signed in devices if obviously you are using the same account and this is still on a controlled rollout so you might not see it um, you know pat off you might have to wait a little while for that to roll out but your payment instruments are now synced across uh, devices and then another um, improvement under the hood is there are improvements to the font rendering so um, improvements according to Microsoft have been made to the rendering of text to improve the clarity and reduce blurriness in uh, Microsoft Edge version 92 and just like the uh, the feature before this is also on a controlled rollout so you might have to check back shortly um, to see if you have the uh, the new font rendering if you don't see it straight away in Microsoft Edge version 92 and then back to the toolbar if you now click on your favorites and collections as an example and you pin it what you do uh, if you X out of that, the next time you open your favorites or collections that are pinned to the, uh, to the toolbar, it will remember that it was pinned and it will open back to being pinned as opposed to the drop down fly out menu. So if you use this type of thing, that's quite a handy uh, little feature that has been added to Microsoft Edge version 92. And then another feature that's been updated, this is quite a, a big one. If we go back to our settings and we go to our profiles, and passwords you now have a password health monitor and i actually have posted a video on this previously uh, in microsoft edge canary and now i see it's finally made its way down to the stable version of microsoft edge and yeah you can arrange your websites a to z you know all the different options to arrange your uh, your uh, passwords showing all you can have leaked reused weak and yeah, the, the, the purpose of this is you can actually show the health. You can toggle this on and off. And then the health is featured here. And um, you can actually see this is a reused password and it is being reused across one sites and apps. So it gives you the strength. You can see here that one of mine isn't all that strong, so to speak. It's, you know, kind of, this is a weak password. So this is a nice little handy feature if you're concerned about your 
uh, password health. And it's basically it says in the release notes, um, it's important to use strong, unique passwords across different accounts to stay safe online. And this is exactly what this is doing. It's just giving you a quick kind of navigation pane to see um, how strong or weak your passwords are. And then obviously you can edit that or delete those passwords as well. So I think that's a nice handy little feature that's been added there. And if we go back to our toolbar, to our uh, extensions menu now, we have, which you can download now over uh, uh, in the Microsoft Edge add-ons. And I also have featured this before um, uh, in Microsoft Edge Canary. You now have the Microsoft Outlook, the email client uh, extension that has been added, the add-on to Microsoft Edge version 92. And if you use Outlook, then this is a handy little shortcut where you have all your little features that you would normally get in uh, uh, Microsoft Outlook right here in your uh, toolbar where you can access those straight from your toolbar in Microsoft Edge. And it's just a handy little fly out for um, Microsoft Outlook if you use Outlook as your email client. And then another feature is that there is a back to school hub um, on Microsoft uh, Bing, which lets you um, find the relevant products and shows you, you know, deals and helps you to save money. And, you know, the back to school hub, according to the release notes, also um, gives you different layers of additional information, you know, where available to help you find what you need quickly. And so it just helps you, you know, find price drop notifications on similar products. So you can compare different so if you're buying something for back to school over in Bing you know one product you can actually compare it with other similar products and find out the best price and the price drops you know obviously to get that at a better price so that's another handy little feature as well and then obviously as mentioned you have the normal security updates for Microsoft Edge version 92 which are also very important so if you're not in, interested in any of the new features it's it's good to check that you're up to date as you, this will also apply the latest security updates. So to apply to the update and to check if you have the update, as always, we just head up to the three dotted menu in the top right, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And as mentioned in previous videos, if you use Edge on a regular basis or as your main browser, this process will take place in the background. And the latest version uh, you should be on now is version 92 Point zero point nine zero two point five five, and that is the latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. And um, as I mentioned, if you are not interested in features, just updating for those security security updates is important. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.